So once you find your seat, I want you to wiggle around. I want you to just move forward and back, side to side, whether you're flat on the floor or on a block or a cushion. I really want you to feel your sitting bones. And you've got two of them. So I want you to feel evenly both of your sitting bones beneath you. And then wiggle through your shoulders. Just move around in your upper body in kind of a silly, nonsensical way. Just move. Move your arms. Shake your arms out. Just get a little bit of awareness of your body. Neck. And then when you feel your body come into stillness. You can close your eyes or just lower your gaze down in front of you, but sit tall, anchored through your sitting bones and lifted through the crown of your head. Start to take some deep breaths in and out of your nose. Notice how breath feels entering Notice how breath feels exiting. The temperature of air coming in is a little cooler than the air moving out. A sign that your body keeps breath in the process of living. The theme for today's practice is dance to the beat of your own drum. And I invite you today in this practice to truly do what I always ask, which is listen to your body. And for today, just see if you can find some ways to make this practice your very own. without worrying how something is supposed to look or what someone might think. Truly feel into your body and let's move in a way that just is organic and unique to each of us. So we're going to start with a few breaths. We're going to reach our arms out and up and then come back through heart center. The very first opportunity you have is moving at your own pace. Your lungs are different than my lungs. Your limbs are different than my limbs. So how could you possibly match someone else's rhythm? Find your own and start to settle in to the way you breathe and the way you move most naturally and organically. We're going to begin to twist our body to the right and the left. And you probably have a way of twisting that feels just right to you. I'm going to work myself out of a job today by convincing you that you are your own best teacher. Feeling which parts of your body receive a twist which parts of your body maybe resist this action? And then coming back to center, we're gonna move our spine sideways. So again, at your own pace, how do you like to move right to left when you're moving sideways? I think it's helpful to just close your eyes and feel this action as opposed to seeing this action. Feel your limbs moving in space and your spine bending sideways like a soft tree in the wind.
and then coming back to center. Let's roll the shoulders. For a couple of these binds we're gonna do today, we really need some looseness and fluidity in our shoulders. Reverse that direction. Let's see what kind of mobility you have this morning. And then let's bring ourselves around to a tabletop position and start to move your spine forward and back. So on the inhale, the belly drops, the chin reaches forward, sitting bones lift high. And on the exhale, tuck the tail down, let the spine follow. Moving at your pace, dancing to the beat of your own drum. There's no one living here inside your body but you. So you get to call the shots. You get to live in your body in the way you are called to live in your body. Shift your hips side to side. Make a little graceful weave, kind of like a figure eight. And then let's start to find our way into downward facing dog. Pedal the heels, shift your weight. Take your feet back a little farther so you've got a little more length and we're gonna shift forward into plank pose and back into downward facing dog a few times. Move with your breath. And you might want to try making this a little softer. So I'm going to tuck my chin to my chest and round my spine forward. And then unfold into plank pose. And then round my way back. Just kind of try that on and see if you can find something in that that feels a little creative. Really feeling the shoulders and the chest with this. The chest presses back toward the legs. Slowly, slowly walk your feet to your hands and come into ragdoll. You can bend your knees, you can bounce it out a little bit. Find your forward fold here. Deep, slow breaths. And then lifting halfway, we'll reach the arms up overhead, extended mountain. And join your hands at heart center. All right, this is the only place where this practice will be prescriptive. <laughs> We're gonna do two rounds of sun salutations today, just two, just to warm up our bodies. And then the rest of the time will be playing with twists and back bends and binds. So when you're ready, reach your arms high and bow low. Inhale to a half lift and exhale downward facing dog. Shifting forward to plank pose, knees or toes, lower halfway down. Pause to exhale. And then inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Pause here to pedal your heels and breathe. Relax any tension in your face and your jaw, your neck. Walk feet to hands, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Rise high, extended mountain, and bring your hands to your heart. Beautiful, one more time, sun A, reach up and bow low. Lift halfway and step back, down dog, take a vinyasa, knees or toes. As we come into down dog, notice your body heat rising, temperature coming up. 
full deep breaths. And feet come to hands for a half lift. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms high, extended mountain. And bring your hands to your heart. All right, we're gonna cactus our arms here. So open up through your chest and shoulders. And as you do, just rise through the chin, lengthen your neck. I want you to feel some strength in the back of your neck and the back of your shoulders. Let your heart lift a little higher. And then as we exhale, hands come in front of the chest. We're just gonna sink way down into a low chair, almost a forward fold. And we'll do that again, inhale to open and exhale to come down low. So move with your breath, finding the opposites here of a back bend and a forward bend. Let's come up one more time. Nice big reach opening through the chest and then let your arms come down to your sides. Let's grab our strap and we'll continue that process of opening through our chest and shoulders. So standing with feet a little bit wider than hips distance apart because we'll eventually end up in a fold here. Take your hands so that you're, you're gonna make a V shape here with your band. And we're just going to take this band up and over. So experiment, you might have to slide your hands out a little wider, maybe a little more narrow so that you keep tension on the band, but you don't strain your shoulders. This is called shoulder flossing. If you've known me for any time, I've advised you to do this every day. Right after you get out of the shower, when your body's nice and warm, just keep your shoulders loose and mobile. All right, so let's increase that. As the arms come up, take a little back bend. So I'm just leaning up and back again, and the arms kind of waiting behind me. Pause right there to feel, and breathe, stretch. Good, and then just continue the arms down there their direction towards the bottom. Come back up through that space. And this time, as the band comes down in front of you, hinge from the hips, keep the tension on the band, feet are wide, head down. To come up from here, big bend in the knees, keep your arms and your back straight, come back to that back bend. Uh, and then the band lowers behind you. So that's our pattern. I'd like you to move with your breath. As you start to bend forward though, keep your arms down close to your body, tension on the band. And as you come up, you really wanna bend your knees and come up with a straight back. If it hurts, change something. Feel free to pause anywhere along the way. We'll do a few more of these. So if you wanna stay somewhere, let your body help you make that decision. To paraphrase Martha Graham, in all of time, there has never been another you and your gifts, your expression are unique. And if you don't use them, they'll be lost forever. There's no one else that can show up in the world the way you do. Let's come up high and hold straight up and down. Turn your toes out and we're just going to lean to one side and then the other. Keep tension on the band, let your side body open up. Space and length. And then let's release the band. 
We'll just let it fall to the floor on either side of the shake out your hands a little bit. So that should feel pretty good around your shoulders. Let's do some sunflowers and kind of stir up that energy. Exhale down, inhale up. Find a pace that feels perfect for your body. You might even exhale out loud. Make a sigh or a ha. Ah. Move the energy through your body. I'm gonna to start to pick up the pace a little bit. You can join me or you can stay slow. <sighs> One more time, lift and lower. Come all the way up and bring your hands to your heart. Ooh, feel that heat, that energy. We're gonna move into some hamstrings now. So moving toward the back of the body. So turn toward the front of your mat and grab your block, place it on its high side in front of you. All right, so on your inhale, you're in a warrior one stance, hands are on the hips. We're gonna come into that back bend again, but this time without the arms. Feeling this more in the middle back, lift up and out. and then come to neutral, hinging from the hips, we'll come over the front leg and we'll let both of our hands come to this block. Lengthen through the spine. We're gonna bend and straighten the front knee a few times. Probably getting a pretty loud signal from that front hamstring, right? The next time the leg is a little bit straighter, see about turning that block onto its middle side and reaching it out away from you a little bit farther. Going for length in the back of the leg. Maybe the lowest side of the block. And then see about pushing that block farther away from you as you pull your hips back. Breathe into whatever you find here. Bring your hands to the floor. Come onto the back toes and drop that back knee. And let's just create some movement now where we have length. So stretching back and forth. Just moving that energy around. And then come to your kneeling lunge. We'll bring the hands to the knee and press upright. Find another little back bend here. Lifting up and out of the low back. You can keep your hands down or raise your hands up. Deep, slow breath. And come back to neutral, hands to heart. Shift forward, let's take a twisting lunge. So the elbow to the top or the outside of that knee, hands pressing together as we open up through the shoulders. You can stay on your knee or if you'd like, you can tuck your back toes. Just feel what's happening here through the spine, the hips and the shoulders. And then let's return back to center, hands to the mat, downward facing dog. You're welcome to take a vinyasa or stay here. Dance to the beat of your own drum. This is your practice. And only you know what you need today. When you feel ready, bring your left foot to the top of your mat. 
the back foot comes in a little bit of a warrior stance. We're gonna bring ourselves up to standing. Nice. With your hands on your hips, take that little back bend, lifting up and out of the low back. Imagine a plant with a really sturdy stalk and you're just lifting it up out of its pot. Shoulders pull back, chest expands. And then let's come to neutral and we'll hinge forward from the hips over our front leg. Let's start with the block on its highest side. You might take your left thumb to the left hip crease and push your hips backwards. Let's bend and straighten the knee. <clears throat> if we were in the room together right now, we would certainly hear Jane go, oh. <laughs> right, Jane? And then with that leg a little straighter, let's come to the middle side of the block. Bring it out in front of you a bit. And maybe it's low side. See about reaching that block away from you as you pull your hips back. Discomfort is okay. You just don't want to go to the point of pain or breath holding. the hands on the mat. Let's come onto our back toes and we'll drop the knee to the ground. And then begin that movement forward and back. Starting to move the energy around. You can be a little creative in the way you move and the pace. Coming into our kneeling lunge, hands on that front knee, gently lift up into a back bend. And you can stay here or reach your arms up. No pain, lift up and out. And then as your hands come together in front of you, shift forward, let's twist. Top hand presses into bottom hand and shoulders stack. We always pay attention to the torso in twisting. Today, I'd like you to really pay attention to your shoulders. One shoulder is pulling forward and one shoulder is pulling backward. See if you can feel that. Let's unwind. We'll come back to center. Tuck the back toes, step to downward facing dog, and you're welcome to take a vinyasa or not. <clears throat> Let's raise the right leg up high, wiggle your toes, circle your ankle. And then come forward into a one-legged plank. Find a strong core. Knee comes in toward the chin. Really round your spine. Hover here, strong core. And then lift and set that foot down. We're gonna bring the back foot forward. Come up into a warrior one. In warrior one, again, let's cactus our arms. Find that back bend. Another way to say back bend is heart opener. So if you need to look at it like that, squeeze your shoulder blades together, press your heart forward. Let's keep our back foot glued to the floor, lift the hands high, and then reach your left arm to the wall in front of you, your right arm to the side wall. So your arms are making a 90 degree. Like this. 
feel your back foot pressing backward. And now take your right hand and just open into a little bit more of a twist. It's gonna feel weird because that back foot wants to lift. Let the right arm continue to wrap behind you. And the left hand comes to the left to the right knee. This is a really big twist. There's a lot going on in your left hip. Pull your right shoulder back and look over your right shoulder. And make sure to breathe. <laughs> and then we'll just keep that right hand resting on the low back. Start to shift forward, grab your block. The block comes underneath the left hand. You can close your stance just a little bit and we're gonna twist again. This is gonna feel a little bit more like twisting triangle or twisting pyramid. Keep that right arm just hugging behind the back, pressing with the back of your hand so the shoulder keeps opening. And then softly release this. Walk to a wide straddle. Bring your block with you. Turn the toes out and we're just gonna move now, lunge side to side. Move it around, move that energy around. Go ahead and come to center. Bring your left hand to the block and raise your right arm. Deep breaths. You were just here in a twist. A little different way to look at it. And let's release, twist the opposite way. Right hand to the block, left arm lifts. And return your hand down. Let's come back to the top of the mat again. You can bring your block to the front. Downward facing dog or vinyasa, your choice. You can shake out that right leg a little bit. We'll move to the left. So when you're ready, the left leg comes up high, wiggle out your ankle. Shift forward into plank on one foot and then hug that knee in. Get it as close to your chin as you can. Press into the mat, round your back and then set that foot down. Help it if you need to. <laughs> All right, back foot comes in into a warrior one stance. Reach your arms high and then cactus the arms. There's that back bend. Breathe here, friends. Reach up again, warrior one. Really anchor down through your back foot and then take your arms into a 90 degree. Right arm forward, left arm sideways. And really pressing into the outside of that right foot, open the left arm into a little more of a twist. This is kind of frustrating because you kind of want to twist farther and you can't. <laughs> so go as far as you can and feel what's here in this twist. That left arm continues behind the back. And you really want to feel this opening through your left shoulder. Square your torso and come down to place your right hand on your block. And let's open up into that twist again, twisting triangle with a half a bind. Looking over your left shoulder, firm through your feet.
and then just release that hand to the ground. The block can stay here in front of the mat, step back down dog, vinyasa if you like. Dance to the beat of your own drum. All right, for this next sequence, you're gonna want your strap handy, so keep it nearby. We're gonna step the right foot forward, drop the back heel, come up to warrior one, and open out warrior two. Heel toe your feet wider, come into reverse warrior. Good, side angle. I'm going to move with breath. Let's kind of stir up the energy again here. Side angle to reverse warrior. Your pace. Your way. Maybe you change the hands. Maybe you change where your eyes are looking as you move. This is your dance. And as we come back into warrior two, reach down and grab your strap. And your strap is just gonna hang in your back hand. If you already know that you don't need a strap for binds, then leave it out. But this is just a really great way to get into a, a bind. So we're gonna come into side angle and let that strap just hang behind you, wrapping the shoulder onto your back as far as you can. Um, see how I have the strap kind of hanging behind my thigh and not right in the middle, that's gonna be helpful too. All right, the right hand comes down to the floor. Try to keep your shoulders stacked and then just reach back and see if you can feel that band with your right hand. And you're in a bind. <laughs> you're in a bind. I think we're all in a bind right now. So see about walking your hands closer together without dipping your top shoulder down. Maybe your hands meet, maybe they just stay on this band. Look up over your top shoulder, take a deep breath in, look down and exhale. Do that two more times, keeping your neck loose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come back to center, release the band. Slowly come to reverse warrior. And we'll do that flow again. Unrestricted. Start to straighten the front leg as you come up. All the way up, nice big deep breath. Turn your 10 toes to the side of the mat and we're gonna turn to our left. I realize on your screen it looks right, but turn to your left. So you're in a left-sided warrior two. And then same thing, start your sideways movement. Your pace and your way. This is you dancing to the beat of your own drum. And then coming back to warrior two, we'll pick up the band in our back hand, our right hand now. And as we come into side angle, that band just drapes behind us. See if you can get a little closer to the knee by wrapping your arm farther. Shoulders stay open, reach toward the floor. And then see if that band is in the vicinity of your hand. And you can see about walking your hands a little closer together. You're gonna find that the sides are probably different. Inhale to look up. 
Exhale, turn your head to look down. Release, just let the band fall, come back to warrior two, ah, and start movement. On the inhale, reverse warrior, straighten your front leg. Exhale, come way over. Find your way of moving here. Maybe even notice that there is joy in moving your body. Come back through the center, turn all 10 toes to the side, reach back, open into a back bend. And exhale, fold in half. Head down, knuckles high. Deep, slow breaths. And then as we release those hands to the floor, let's lift up halfway. And we'll turn once again toward our right foot. We're gonna set up four into that pyramid stance. So take your feet a little bit wider to the outer edges of your mat. Flat back, rise up. Good. All right, so we're moving into what we would call a peak pose, bound twisting triangle. <laughs> this is one that I have been working on for about 10 years and still have a ways to go. So we're gonna hinge forward from our hips and come down into a flat back. This is pyramid pose. And then we're gonna take the block over to the right side, the outside of our right foot open into twisting triangle or twisting pyramid. Put a little bend in your right knee. I'm gonna turn so you can see what's happening here. And the elbow comes to the outside of that right knee. So you're in twisting triangle, arm outside. Let your back arm, your top arm come into that half bind. And this is where some people someday can find a bind. So you could go back to band in that back hand, and grab the band, <laughs> have to bring it way through, grab the band in your front hand and start to walk your hands together. And that front leg can be bent or straight. I hope it makes you feel better that I have about a foot between my hands on this band and I've got pretty long arms. So this is a big bendy pose. Breathe, lengthen your spine. It can be a frustrating one because we all want to do everything all out perfectly. So a little self observation. Go ahead and release anything that you're holding. Step the back foot to meet the front foot and rise up super slow, extended mountain. Shake your hands out down at your side. All right, notice the difference between right and left. We have one side to go, but before we get there, we're gonna do a three part breath. So it's inhale, 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 and then exhale. So sniff in, three counts and then breathe out. So in, 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 out. This is called the breath of joy. And I like to do it right after a pose that I didn't nail perfectly because I'm just going to let it go. In, 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 out. Two more times. and then come up, shake it out, have your strap nearby and get ready for left side, 
found twisting triangle. So we're gonna start by hinging from our hips. You can use your block, you are in pyramid pose. And then we'll turn that into a twist. So left hand on the back, right hand on the block. That's a great place to stay. You could move the block to the outside of your foot and open your chest and shoulders a bit farther. At this point, wrap your arm behind your back, keeping the shoulders stacked. And you could start to look for a bind here. Walking the hands closer together on the strap. So I know it seems pretzely. The right arm is outside the left thigh. And that front leg can be bent or straight. The main purpose that I'm looking for here is shoulder opening. So if you need to back off a little bit to find that, then go ahead and do that. It's one of those poses that you could probably work on your whole life. And based on your body structure, maybe never quite get the yoga journal version of the pose. And it's okay. It's the process, yeah? Let's release that. Bring yourself to standing. Shake it out a little bit. We'll do one more round of breath of joy before we get to the floor. So in, 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 and let it go. The louder you can be on this, the more effective it is. Two more times. And this time to stay down here in your forward fold, let your arms dangle, let your head wiggle, let your spine relax. Deep breath. Lower yourself down to your knees. And let's come into a stretch for the back of the shoulders after all of that opening. We're gonna scoop the right arm under for thread the needle. And your shoulder should be good and ready for this. You can extend your left leg if you like, use your toes to push a little bit more onto your shoulder. Let your breath expand, especially around your upper back. And switch when you're ready. Left arm threads the needle. Use your right hand and your right toes to help you come into the perfect place where you can open the back of your left shoulder. And let's release back to center. We'll bring our legs around and come into a seat. Hashimotanasana, seated forward fold, and you have a strap that you can use around the bottom of your feet if you like. Take a deep breath in, arms up, maybe even a little back bend first. And then hinge from your hips over your legs. Grab whatever you find, calves, ankles, feet, strap. And draw your body forward more than down. Feel your breath moving in your body on your mat. 
in this moment, just having this experience of your life. slowly bring ourselves back up and bend our knees and lower down onto our backs coming into your choice of bridge so easiest option is to bring where is it to bring a block underneath your hips and just rest your hips a little higher than your heart a little more active option is lifting the hips high and drawing the arms beneath you. And if you're feeling like you just have some energy today and you really wanna expand, flip your hands by your head and press up into wheel pose. Take a full back bend today. Really open your heart, your chest, your belly, your hips to whatever is in front of you today. Let's just step into whatever is next with an open heart, a freedom, an expansiveness. Slowly release your body to the floor. Let's take a twist to each side before we drop into Shavasana. So the knees go to the left and the head turns right. You probably have your favorite way of twisting. Docking or crossing legs, find your way. Close your eyes and just notice what this twist is offering to you. Slowly reverse the knees to the right, the head to the left. Fill up and empty out. When you feel ready, come back to center and do any other movement that your body needs in order to come into stillness. Any other stretching, wiggling, adjusting. Take time now to transition into Shavasana in whatever way your body needs. As you lie here resting and observing breath, imagine when you were in the womb of your mother, 
there was a sound. Most likely the sound of your mother's heartbeat. It began to form a rhythm. That rhythm that became you. After you were born, imagine that you could still hear that sound. And as a young child, you knew the sound of your own drum beat. You would dance to it, you would sing to it, you would twirl. You followed the sound of your own drum. And then someone one day in their own insecurity told you that was stupid or silly or wrong. And you were young enough to believe them. Today, as you lie here and before you emerge from this rest, know that that rhythm is still calling to you inviting you to shed what everyone else thinks and dance to the beat of your own drum once again so i invite you now to take deep breaths and stretch your body and as you emerge from this rest, come back with new eyes, new ears, and a new commitment to listen to your own rhythm. When you're ready, we'll meet in a seat. Let's bring our hands together here at heart center, or if there's another gesture that you are called to, place your hands in another way. Take a moment to honor yourself, your beauty, your rhythm. Today, may we all dance to the beat of our own drum and listen to that which calls to our soul. bowing to that and to each other namaste